All right, I can hit you with a dumb question. Let's do it. Uh, I like to try to picture the worst songs for certain events. We did the worst song to bang to one time. Yeah. I would like to know if what you can think of would be the worst song. You know when you get married, you have your first dance? Mm -hmm. Very important song. I think. I don't know. Is it yeah. an important song? I've never been married. I mean, yeah. It's I like would, the, I it's would like say thing. not maybe to the men. I don't think the men. Or not that I'll be like. I, I think half the relationship cares and probably half doesn't. Yeah. I wouldn't say both people in a marriage are like, we got to nail down. <laughs> I would say one person cares more than the other. I got a little book for you to read, Julie. It's called Sell the Bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to sell the bit here. It's a very important song. I mean, one person definitely cares more than the other. I think at a wedding, it is the it is you want a you want a good song. It's like the kickstart to your marriage. You know what I mean? This is the song that's gonna send the you. The worst song your I say, Johnny Cash, hurt. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What have I become? You're so beautiful. It's the happiest day of my life. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. you could have oh god, this song's so romantic. <laughs> My this makes me think of you. Of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tears to the dad, the father. This is just tears streaming down his eyes. I'm the one that chose this, Phil. <laughs> she wanted something different. What have I become in the end? Just broadcasting the video up on the screen, too. Just a sad old face. Guys, right? I want to thank you for leaving your envelopes at the gift table with all the other cool gifts you guys got us. You guys got our registry. Whatever. In case you can't tell from the song choice, it is not an open bar. Have yeah, you been to a wedding? The husband doesn't perform the song. He does if it's hurt by Johnny <laughs> Cash. If it's Johnny Cash. If he's picking hurt by Johnny Cash. If he's sending a message to Julie, dancing. he's doing it. He's like, you know what, sweetie? I actually brought a microphone for this. I'm going to sing it. You haven't been to enough spike weddings. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, you got to go to TV style weddings <laughs> where, the, where the groom will just start singing it up. Great answer. What Great answer. You can stick Johnny Cash and say Ring of Fire. Yeah, that'd be a bad one. Ring mean, of Fire's bad At as well. At least a little more energy to yeah. it. It's yeah. a little less depressing. Well, I got a couple more back. I was going to go right off the bat with uh, She Fucking Hates Me by Pedal of Oh, Blood. yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Which would be a really rough she start. She fucking hates me. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. What about uh, Here for a Good Time, Not a Long Time? Oh. Yeah. I think it's talking about vacations. But <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, but you got to repurpose it. None of these songs are about weddings. I go boom, 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 boom by Vagger Boys. <laughs> yeah. That used to be my ringtone when I was like 16 oh, and I had my pink Motorola like razor. Boom, my boom, ringtone was boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. From we'll now until together, forever. We'll, we'll spend it all together. Normally I like oh, yeah. our songs, but. It was. <laughs> Julie, worst wedding awful. song. I mean, you could do something where, like, like the cha-cha slide, where, like, everyone has to be involved. Oh, so, like, God. it just takes away from Oh, that's a wedding thing. I don't want to be at. <laughs> when they make, when, listen, if I'm at a wedding and they want to get me to get involved, I don't like that. Buddy, I went to a wedding once, uh, my best friend from high school's wedding. And uh, they, uh, they had a, a terrible movie. <laughs> no, this is, uh, I learned something about myself at that wedding. Oh, Jesus they, uh, Christ. Well, why don't you tell us, Creed? That's amazing. They, uh, they prepared a flash mob. For, no. Uh, oh, no. God, so, no. in have my nightmare. Go ahead. And uh, I've never met these people, but somebody told them enough about me that uh, they went, let's not tell Peter. Oh, that's, that's good. <laughs> and so I was just as surprised. I was like, I should have flashed my... Everybody else in the wedding was in it except for the br bridegroom and me. <laughs> I was like, okay. Oh, buddy, okay. that's the best I could have gone. Oh, oh yeah. I think they think it's an insult, but really it's a compliment. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> One of my ex-girlfriends was part of the wedding, and I think she was like, listen, if you bring him into this, he's going to talk other people out of it. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to find Absolutely. a way to ruin yeah, this. Yeah, There's no time. way that it's going to be good. How is the flash mob? Awful. <laughs> has, it, has it ever been good? Yeah, I saw one good one on Ellen because it was professional dancing yeah, yeah, or something, and, and then everything yeah, else has yeah, sucked. Yeah, yeah. yeah the people can't dance. Also, like, it can't look good from where you're at if you're in the flash Ooh. mob. Like, it's when you get, like, a back view and you see everything happening at once, and it's you get to see the... Also, you need, like, just, a drone let me, uh, let me describe it. So if, if you did get that back shot, I love the idea of it, it being pulled back, and it's just you, the groom <laughs> and her surprise... The groom and the bride surprise, and also Creasy, who's drinking a rum and coke in the corner. He's like, <laughs> fuck is this? Yeah. Yeah, I was not. Wow, this is stupid. I do wish they had like a slow pan of like the excited bride, groom, and then me with the. Uh. Yeah. 
it just pans out, <laughs> yeah. and then you see you. Let me explain the flash mob to you. Let me. This is <laughs> how I remember it from my viewpoint. Before was were the bride and groom like happy that this was going yeah, on? Yeah, they were excited. Oh, yeah, they love it. I mean, it's a okay, special. Sorry. It's a it's a different kind of people that are like yeah. They oh, like this surprise. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Like you got surprise. Yeah, you gotta these are that. wholesome gotta family people. Know okay. that they would really like that. Yeah, yeah. You these aren't know that us. Going in. Oh, these are humans. Okay, these are people with feelings and stuff. Like more sentiment now less I have context. they have like you know <laughs> cool office jobs and stuff and they're like yeah. once every 10 years I want to do something cool office jobs <laughs> that's <laughs> redundant I feel I he's know. an optometrist <laughs> she's a teacher it's very wholesome anyway I'm very sitting nice there. that's a nice little family that is situation that yeah, is yeah, yeah it's lovely so I'm at the front I'm, at, I'm in the wedding so I'm at the main table and uh, I just see everybody get up. Oh, slight flex there. <laughs> slight wedding flex there at the main table. I don't want to brag. I'm going down to the for I'm at the main Excuse table. me for living the man. Was at the man the I don't sit table. at table one. All right? You're the only person who didn't know about the flash. Yeah. Well, that's it. Everybody else from the head table got up and we're leaving. And I was like, where the fuck's everybody going? P- <laughs> you being the third person not knowing about this flash mob, it's almost like you going on the honeymoon with these two. <laughs> like, why like, are you involved? Were they trying to include you? Like, here's the moves. Peter, just follow up. No, no. no. No, literally nobody said They're anything like, to me. Just get out of here. Just get out of the way. Yeah. And afterwards, I asked them, and I was like, "Well, how come you guys didn't tell me?" And they're like, "We were told we shouldn't." I was like, "All right, that's fair." That's pretty funny. So Did you at least leave. No, I watched. I didn't know what to do. I'm Did just, you just watching. You, you can't leave. You're in the middle of a flash mob. I can't get up and walk out on it. Did you lean into the bride and groom who were loving and be like, "You know, I hate this guy." <laughs> or were you in the corner, just kind of like bopping and moving? I was like, at the table, staring it. at it. Feeling like, what the hell? Well, because it took me so long feeling to realize the, what was happening. Because listen, let me ex- just explain to you. Let's like, justify this a little bit. Because like, the flash mob is one. Because the sis, the uh, bride. Sorry, I'm flustered. I'm defensive. The bride uh, uh, has a very flamboyantly gay cousin. Okay. And he's leading the flash mob. Husband. Husband, no, he's got. A, she's got a very flamboyantly gay husband. That's my friend from high school. They did a flash mob. Me and him. He loved in the, back. the flash mob. <laughs> yeah. He's glad husband? he wasn't in it. Love the Gay flash men mob. marry straight women all the time. <laughs> as far as I know, he's the, the groom is straight. They made some kids, so he's at least trying. I mean, everyone's <laughs> on the spectrum. But but the, here we go. The, the cuss, what kind of podcast is this? It's getting weird. Hey, you brought a woman on. We're going to talk about hey, we've, all seen baby, we've all seen Baby Finally Reindeer. We've all seen Baby Reindeer. Finally brought a woman on. Today. We've all seen Baby Reindeer. I can see why we didn't. Everyone's a little gay. You're on a spectrum. Anyways, go on. Flash mob. <laughs> How is I don't know. It feels less gay when we're talking about boners for 20 well, minutes. Well, I mean, come from the guy with the turtleneck on right now. So. A bunch of men in a room talking about boners doesn't feel gay at all. No, there's nothing gay about a bunch of men <laughs> hanging out just talking about boners for 40 minutes. That's what I said. Doesn't we had to cut 90% of the boner stuff. <laughs> there's so much boner stuff that hit the floor. A lot of boner banter. <laughs> boner banter went on for a disturbing time. I didn't talk about this much about boners like even when I was like 12. <laughs> no, no. No, it started ironically, but then 40 minutes in, we're like, we're still talking about boners. This is a bit much. <laughs> Who do you so, think win in a boner arm wrestle? <laughs> I know that all, you can't do it, but theoretically, uh. if you could. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Yeah, please. sorry, we're cutting you right off. No, no I can just picture two boners arm wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to push it over. Like over the top. I think it's yeah. called sword fighting. They're wearing little wife beaters. That's part of our clothing line. We just talk. beaters. That's yeah, true. true. You sorry, can beat husbands, sorry, too. You're just right, you're beaters. Right. You can beat husbands, you can beat girlfriends, you can beat boyfriends. Just beaters. Just little be- boner beaters. Little boner beaters. <laughs> <laughs> boner beaters is not a bad name. <laughs> <laughs> that can be found in 30 minutes on the high point. <laughs> <laughs> slash door. Absolutely. Little dictionary size bonus with a little logo on them. Uh, oh, your name on the those. top with like a jersey. Yeah, something great. nice. Something nice for the, so, I was gonna say the family. Let's I was going to say, merch I was gonna say the kids. I was like, not, not for the kids. Not for the kids. We're not selling boner beaters <laughs> for the kids. No, that's not a kid's product. <laughs> <laughs> that's an adult <laughs> thing. Hey, kid, you ever put clothes on your boner? Ah. Uh, what's that? Am I arrested? <laughs> fair. That's fair. That's fair. All right, I should should have have locked up. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have known this was coming. As soon as we started a boner beaters for kids line, I knew we were in trouble. (laughs) This thing was doomed from the start. (laughs) There are a lot of products that get out there, and you're like, how many people saw this? Yeah. I worked at Jack Astor's, and there was a shirt that like sags on the back, and one of them was, I ride the short bus. Okay. How many people? saw that and it got like immediately removed from circulation yeah, of course. but how many people in like a giant corporation saw that line and were like hilarious I yeah. no one will hate this who got that line in and was like <laughs> yeah, it sounds like something you'd put in as a it joke. That was like a filler line. I needed five. They wanted five by Monday. So, it like, I had four good ones, and then I put in one that they could never choose. <laughs> <laughs> it made it to production. The shirts were circulated amongst Jack Astor's around Canada. 
man. Oh my it God. Just, I'd hate to besmirch the good name of Jack Astor. And then somebody one day was like, I just think you can't say that. Yeah. Like, I, like, I wish I had one of those. Meanwhile, <laughs> Jack, Jack Astor's headquarters is a kid named Livingston <laughs> walking around there. Hey, Livingston! You killed it on that t shirt. <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean, I'll sure make the yeah, we're going I mean, they were all awful. They were bad. They're bad shirts. <laughs> I worked there for six years. I can't remember all of them. One was like, I practice safe eating. Practice safe eating. Use a condiment, which is old men love. That's classic. Talking that's, that's about that one. Much better than the other one. That's classic. My favorite one was burger. I might pocket that I barely that last knew her. Yeah. I like that one. Burger, I barely knew it. Really that, that was good. That was good. That was good. It's also classic. Lots, Practice lots. safe eating, use a condiment was hilarious, but when like old men would see you, they'd be like, eh, what do you know about condoms? Yeah. Like, You're 60, I'm 21. Why don't you yeah. up? It's yeah. been 40 years since they've seen a condom. <laughs> like, I remember when they came out, I was 55. <laughs> <laughs> we used goat intestines back Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, they did use that. So I'm at the head table. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> The flash mob, so it what? took me uh, at least, uh, if I'm realistic about it, at least 45 seconds to realize it was a flash mob. Yeah. <laughs> because at the front uh, was the flamboyantly gay cousin who had clearly taught everyone the dance. Yeah. And he's fucking slaying it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He is just okay. facial expressions like he's in the Love middle of a step yeah. up or something. Yeah, yeah. He is killing it. That's awesome. And behind him are progressively older waves of people in the wedding. Oh, no. No one's killing it. Like and no is. one. None of them are in time with him. He's Probably like. It's worse as it goes yeah, back. Yeah. He's three beats ahead of them. Yeah. And it just. It's like a wave of like doughy people not That's being able to That's actually awesome. That therein so, lies the problem with Flash Mob. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah you, need, you need the Ellen thing where you can get all Juilliard class of dancers. Yeah. To yeah you and need do it. people with the of, timing. Of a hundred yeah. people, like 10 are going to be like real into it. 90 are going to be like, the yeah. fuck? Because here's the thing. If you see a Flash Mob where everybody nails it, it looks. Cool, but if you see a flash yeah. mob where ninety percent of the people are out of time, it just looks like a bunch of people trying to dance. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're all doing the same it dance. Just it just looks like, like a bunch of people got up and started dancing. Yeah, it's like oh shit, they started the dance early. Which isn't like a flat. If I can I be, I'll, I'm a flash mob snob. <laughs> <laughs> I want it timed. I want to be part of the illusion. Yeah. I'm gonna say yeah. you and everybody else. Yeah. I think everybody is like, if I'm not watching this in a movie where everyone is like a trained dancer, it's like, what am I watching? Yeah. Yeah, I want it to be where you can cut if it goes wrong and you can do it again and yeah, I can exactly. see just the good version. Yeah. I want so like the for only an audience member, product. sorry, for an audience member, somebody in a flash mob, it's not that great, right? It's just weird at all mm. times. Like if a flash mob hop happens around you, you don't get that. You're only seeing the five, six people around you. You're not seeing that whole thing of everybody that it's still just weird. Eh? The do you think there's like weird. a jealousy? Like do you think like people, I envision there being like a group of people who just do like that's their thing. They do like flash mobs. scouring YouTube. Where's the next flash mob? Yeah. In my, if you live in like a big city, like you're yeah. in San Francisco or Chicago. Or yeah, it's been a long time in Halifax. And like 10 years, flash like mob. whatever flash mobs were cool like 10 yeah, years ago or whatever absolutely. it was. That they like, oh, like, oh, I'm a flash mobber. Like, I'm a, I, that's what well, I do. Well, I mean, you are kind of describing step up right now. <laughs> that was kind of what that's they true. did. They had sort Nick of a Cannon network. had no involvement. They had like a, a, a network where they could go on. They'd sit on top of a building in New York City and they'd be like, hey, it's going off uh, on 53rd Street. I always use 53rd Street, but it is always going off there. <laughs> 53rd Street, I've been to New York. That's not a, like a cool spot to be. I, I just it's like far. To, I just like it's far remember. from the main areas. It's where things are going off. Things over here. are going <laughs> off on 53rd. I heard a rumor, <laughs> Julie Bloom. I'm telling you right now. You go up to 53rd. You find yourself up on top of a building yeah. with a laptop. Yeah. I'll be Adele. Ooh. Something nice like Adele. Hello. Dude, you're getting Adele to find <laughs> your you next flash mom. mob. Yeah, that's the motto. They find a flash mob. They go. They rock it out. Probably starts raining. Very cool for the third <laughs> act of the dance. You know how you're a flash mob snob? I'm a bit of a f flash mob slob. Yeah, yeah, you don't even care. You don't, you, as long as it happens around you, you just like to give see it go to pieces around just you. Fall apart. I want you all to follow, trip, and die. Yeah, I go into a positive. You going sort of a, you're like, oh, the worse, the better. Well, as we've discussed many times, I like to think of us as the yin and yang of flash mobs. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> my